Hello dear students, I welcome you all on the discussions of the quick solutions of the All India Cash Test Series Medical 2021. We will be discussing the test for the two year medical program and this would be the test 5 specifically the code CND. This test was conducted on 19th of January 2020. Dear students, let us proceed to the first question of the test. Dear students, question number 1 says, a wire can be broken by suspending a minimum load of 30 kgs. The minimum mass required to break the wire of twice the diameter is. Dear students, for a wire of same material, the breaking stress remains constant, which means that the initial breaking stress must be equal to the final breaking stress for the wire to just break. Let the initial radius be r then the final radius is 2r that is twice of the initial radius the initial stress is 30 g divided by pi r square let the final mass be m then the final stress will be mg by pi 2r square dear students this means that m would be equal to 120 kg and therefore, the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Now, let us proceed to the question number 2. Question number 2 says, the Young's modulus of brass and steel are 1 into 10 raised to power 11 newton per meter square and 2 into 10 raised to power 11 newton per meter square respectively. If wires of both materials having same length are loaded with same weight, then they both extend by 4 millimeter. The ratio of radii of two wires, that is RB ratio RS, that is the radius of brass to the radius of steel is. Dear students, the extension in length has a formula FL divided by AY, where F is the restorative force, L is the initial length, A is the area of projection and Y is the Young's modulus. Dear students, for delta L to be same, we can write down that AB by AS would be equal to YS by yb therefore dear students we can also write that rb by rs square would be equal to yb by ys from this equation we can write down that rb by rs would be equal to root of ratio of yb and ys which we can write to be equal to root 2 and hence the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Now let us proceed to the question number 3. Question number 3 says the increase in pressure required to decrease the 100 liter volume of a liquid by 0.004% is. It is given that the bulk modulus of the liquid is 2000 megapascals. Dear students, the bulk modulus can be written to be equal to the excess pressure divided by the negative of the fractional change in the volume. Dear students, from this we can write down that delta P would be equal to minus B into delta V by V. On substituting the given values that B is equal to 2000 megapascals that is 2000 into 10 to power 6 pascals and delta B by V to be equal to 0 0.004 by 100. We can find out the value of delta P to be equal to 2000 into 10 to the power 6 into 0 0.004 by 100. This would be equal to 80 kilopascals. And hence the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us discuss the question number 4. Question number 4 says, one end of a uniform wire of length L and mass M is attached rigidly to a point on the ceiling and a block of mass capital M is suspended from its lower end. If area of cross-section of wire is A, then stress in the wire at a distance 3L by 4 from the lower end will be. Dear students, at a distance 3L by 4 from the lower end, the tension that would develop would not only support the mass that was suspended from the rope, that is capital M, but also the mass that is below that point of the rope or the wire as well. Now since 3 by 4th of the wire is hanging, 
the total mass that hangs and that is to be supported by the tension should be equal to the hanging mass that is m plus 3 m by 4 and the corresponding weight can be calculated by multiplying by g so this will be equal to 7 mg by 4 dear students in this particular case if the area of cross section is a then the stress can be calculated as the tension that is 7 mg by 4 divided by area so we can see that the correct answer for this question should be option number 4 now let us proceed to the next question of the test which is question number 5 the question says when a cylindrical tube is dipped vertically in liquid the angle of contact is 138 degree if the same tube is inclined at an angle 38 degrees with vertical then the angle of contact becomes Dear students, the angle of contact is independent of the inclination of the capillary. In this particular case, since initially the angle of contact is 138 degrees, so on inclining the capillary at a certain angle that is 38 degrees, the angle of contact would still be 138 degree only. The correct answer therefore for this question should be option number 3. Now let us discuss question number 6. 